Okay, so this is how to use the rider. First, you turn it on, the button's right here. Well, sometimes I just make up stories from my head. It's just that it kind of pops out automatically and then I start writing. He has cerebral palsy, very mild, but it, it affects his handwriting. He went from being, you know, very f a frustrated child who couldn't get anything out on paper because it's very hard for him to do that. It's physically, um, it's physically um, exhausting. The writer plus, it just makes everything easier about writing. This is the best day of my life. But that writer, it just gave him so much self-esteem. He knew that he could do what the other kids could do in class, even though he couldn't do it the same way. The three biggest changes that I've seen in my son Anthony is self-esteem, his grades, and um, just he, he's able to use technology better than I can. Is it a list? Is it a table? See all those bars? We use a Promethean board, an overhead, a Activote, a ECPS remote, computers, and a printer. Marco, go on up there and write it. Let's see, that's a little bit high, but let's see if we can. Uh, we have study groups every Monday for the teachers. So if you're, we've got new digital cameras. Well, if you don't know how to use one, you can come on Mondays, we'll show you how to use it. And that way you can get started. Because it's nice to have all the equipment, but if you don't know how to use it, it's not any good. We like to incorporate books. I mean, books are never going away. But we also like to use the new technology that's being used here. So for example, I have um, Sarah Plain and Tall, which is a little chapter book that we're going to be using. But I've used um, incorporated technology in it. We've used uh, SurveyMonkey, which is an online website, and I create my questions on there. And so after we finish reading a chapter, the students will get on the computer and answer those questions, and I'll get my feedback here. So it's a way of incorporating the traditional education with the new. It makes teaching a lot easier because, uh, for example, the Activotes that we have, which are little remotes, they give you instant feedback to what the students answered. And so you do have those students that sometimes wait a little bit or ex are expected to answer first. And so they kind of hang back, you know, but with this we can see exactly who's voted and who hasn't. So they don't stay behind. And then everybody is accountable for their own answers. So that way it engages them and it makes them want to do better. Add like and look. And you're going to press B if you think that's the right answer. I'm in a very choice position to have uh, an instructional relationship with every child and every teacher in this building. And that's pretty special. So it is the best of practices not just best practices, but is the, the best. So I want to test you um, on probability, okay? It was wonderful that Miller invited parents to come in and to see what the kids use and uh, you know they, they showed us um, how the kids use it, what they use it for, how it's integrated into the classroom. Um, they showed us the Promethean board and the smart board and the document camera and it just it blew us away. Look at that! What does that mean? Everybody picked A. Good job. So we know A is correct. What is wrong with B? That looks look supposed to have ing. Can you fix that for me, please? Okay. It's look in. These kids are going to grow up, and they're going to have so much knowledge. I mean, they're going to go into college and go on into you know the workplace. 
with information that none of us ever had.